Hello, library friends. This is Sherry Rita from Wilmette Public Library, and I am here to share with you our newest kit, which will be available on March 15th. This kit, can you see, is a kindness kit. It's a kit to make a tree of hope. So it's a little bit different than the STEAM kits in that there are directions in here but they're very general. You can do whatever you want with the materials inside. Okay, let's see what's inside. First, we have a piece of paper. And this piece of paper, whoops, more than that, there we go. This piece of paper includes some directions with ingredients and ways to make a tree of hope. It also includes some interesting facts about interesting trees throughout history and myth. It includes a book list of great picture books and great books for older kids about trees and about hope and about spring, okay? The paper section also includes some pictures that you can use to decorate your tree of hope and some blank pieces of paper. These are sort of weatherproof, like weather resistant pieces of paper. So you can draw on these and do things with these and they won't fall apart too easily in, in uh, the outdoor weather in case you put your tree outside. We have a paper clip, keep that. You might want to use it. We have some pipe cleaners all looped together. So you can take them apart and you can use them on your tree. Same thing with ribbons. We have four or five different ribbons for you to use as fasteners or decorations, however you wanna use them, okay? There are some tags you can write on or decorate. These are little wooden tags. Some weatherproof, they're called paint chips. They're little circles that are sort of plasticky. You can use these as a decoration, or again, you can just um, hang them because they're beautiful. And some feathers, all different colors of feathers, and one or two tassels, okay, for your tree. You may also want some branches, which you should get by yourself. Um, if you don't have branches and you don't wanna go out looking for branches, you can actually use a wire hanger that you untwist and make it to any shape you like. You might want some scissors. Uh, you might want some glue or some tape, right? May I have a sticky note pad here just in case I want it. Maybe I can make some more flags or something. And some markers. So the idea is to get some branches. I found these in the park outside my house, okay? And something to put the branches in. First, I'm going to tie these branches together because I have a few of them. Now, if you want to use just one branch, you can do that, okay? But I have a few, so I'm going to tie them together with one of these ribbons. And that way I'll have just one thing to decorate, but it'll be very, very full. Okay, so I'm tying my branches together with a ribbon. Mm. All right. Okay. Then you might want to have some kind of vase or holder for your branches. I found this big vase outside, so I'm going to use that. But it's really big and branches are really skinny. So I thought I might put something in there. I have a towel that's as black as dirt. So I thought I'd put that in there to help hold my branch in place when I'm done, right? And go right inside, or maybe I'll wrap it around my branch if it's hard to get it in. Do you see that? Maybe you can't see the bottom like that, all right? Um, and then, the idea is to just do what will make your tree of hope look beautiful. So 
I might use tape to just hang some things from branches, right? Okay. Or I might make some messages that I can attach to the top of the tree. Messages of hope, right? Like, it's all going to be okay, or stay strong, or maybe a poem or a rhyme you like, or a riddle. Some people on the block next door to me, they post up a joke of the day every day. You could put some jokes on your tree of hope, and then you can fasten things with pipe cleaners, or you can just use them to make some of the branches become really pretty. Right? All of a sudden, instead of a bare brown branch, branch, you have something that looks like a caterpillar is on it, or a flower, or just like an imaginary tree. Right? You can do the same thing. You can hang some ribbons, right? Or you can punch a hole in things, or you can just put tassels on it. Right? You can find beautiful things that you have in your house that you want to add to your tree of hope. Like, I have some coasters that I think are beautiful and I'm gonna add to my tree of hope. I have some Play-Doh. I might make some shapes with the Play-Doh or maybe a nest and put them in my tree of hope. I'm gonna get busy and then I'm gonna come back with a finished one so you can take a look. Oh, by the way, if you don't find big branches or if big branches are too hard to work with, you can use little branches and you can use a vase like this, a little vase. Um, I'm gonna come back with a littler one so you can see it all in the picture with me and you can see how it works. Hi, did you miss me? I know it feels like no time has passed but I've actually been away working on my tree of hope. And let me show you how it looks. Ta-da! So here I've got a tag with a little message of love, some art inside the vase, right? And some other art on the vase. I've got tassels. I've got my disco ball from my own house and I've got pipe cleaners made into wiggly worms and little curly cues on branches. I've got feathers hanging off it, right? And little decorations. This one has a smiley face on one side and a question mark on the other. I also made something with my Play-Doh at home. It kind of looks like a bird's nest, I thought, so I put another feather in there. There are ribbons, and some of the ribbons connect to, to things that hang, and there are signs. This one says, keep hoping, stay strong. So that's, that's how I chose to make my tree of hope. You can make yours look any way you want. It can have lots of hangy things or it can have lots of things that just make the branches stand out. It can have all kinds of things from home. What decorations do you have at home that you want to put on your tree? I would love to see what you make. If you want to send us a picture of what you've made, just email us at youthdesk at wilmetlibrary.info. You can put this outside, you can put it in your window, and you can make it a centerpiece for your house, however you want to do it. I hope you have a great time and enjoy this kit and keep an eye out for the next one. Take care.